Hello everyone, welcome back to Let's Play Fallout 4. I uh, hope you're enjoying the series. We're about to talk to Desdemona business. about the uh, relay that we just got powered up here. Look at this crazy ass shit. <laughs> Raiders are going to be like, holy crap. They got some kind of crazy chem factory over there. And I didn't really build many defenses for this... Um, settlement, but I think that Tinker Tom and Desdemona would be able to fend it, fend off uh, raiders. The Institute is a huge unknown. Before we can make any plans, you need to do something. Okay. What I'm about to tell you is the most closely guarded secret the railroad has. It's time you learn about Patriot. Uh, oh, okay, let's get sarcastic Patriot? here. Patriot? Seriously. Who chooses these code names anyway? Your sarcasm is noted. There's a man, or woman, we're not sure, inside the Institute who helps since escape to freedom. Of course Dozens there is. Since owe him their lives. And we you're just using him. a him, we even though you don't know so we gave him the code name if Patriot. it's a man or a woman. Works and you're able to get inside the, Institute, the fuck, Bethesda? Need you to make contact. Seriously? You say that you don't know if they are a man or a woman. And then you say him and his, automatically assuming they're a man. Why not just say they? What? How does that work? Pardon me? Come again? A response would be appreciated. I am giving you a fucking baffled response <laughs> about your use of pronouns. It makes very little sense, friend. Um, how do I contact this how can person? I contact him if you know nothing about him. Patriot devised a method to communicate with us one way. The plan hinges on us using this method to close the loop and contact and them contact back. them back. Um, it might not work though. That's not much to go on. I might not be able to find him. You have to try. Tom's encrypted a message for Patriot's eyes only. Once he sees it, he'll contact you. Oh, and I hope so to God Patriot's a woman. And probably after, you need to stay in their good graces. You need to infiltrate them. Can you do that? Can you be our agent on the inside? Okay. So I need to... Uh, infiltrate... Is she talking about infiltrating the Institute? How, How do, do I infiltrate them? You're going to have to sell them a lie. It's best to stick as close to the truth as possible. And you're going to have to think on your feet. We don't know what's waiting for you. If you make it at all. Uh, yeah, it does make me uncomfortable, but, I mean, I need to find Sean, so. Bring it on. You can do this. I believe in you. Stand on the platform and I'll give you the holotape. Just plug it into any institute terminal and wait for the reply. Tom, talk to me. Booting up the scan sequence. This okay. frequency is only going to work once. You know who doesn't make the same mistake twice. Where the fuck's Tom? Alright, so I need to stand on this thing. Ooh, this is getting exciting. I don't know where the fuck we're gonna end up. Okay, um, I can't move anything, any, uh... I'm stuck here, so... <laughs> Stuff's gonna go down, uh... I guess... Okay... So stand still, and right. lock in all those molecules of yours! Hopefully we won't miss any. There's only, you know, 60 trillion of them. Please, please right. don't. Feeding please don't miss any. Juice. Let's see what she's got. Take this holotape. You need it to contact Patriot. Okay. Oh, man, uh, don't worry. That, that's all part of the plan. Tom, do whatever you can to gain their trust. Lie. Tell them what they want to hear. Make up a cover story and sell it. Come on. I think I got it. Establishing lock on the Institute signal. Just get all the information you can about synths, about the Institute's plans. Find their weaknesses. If we can disable or destroy the Institute, we may have to do it. You jack that holotape into any terminal and Patriot will make contact. He has to. Got the R up! We got it! Find a way to save Whoa, them. okay. Nobody else can. Now! All right, we're headed in. Here we go. All right, I've leveled up. The molecular level. Okay, let me go ahead and spend that. Oh, sorry, console. 
Let me go ahead and spend that perk. Now, let's see. What do I want? Probably some gun modding perk. Um, melee weapon mods, let's see. Probably. Uh, uh, rank 2 gun mods. Scrapper. Okay, I can't even take those, so pretty much I could take uh, energy resistance, which actually might be helpful in here, but um, meh. I think I'm gonna up my uh, get rank two gun mods. Go ahead and do that. Okay. And next time I might up my agility so I get some more uh, some more action points I think that would help me um, also might take this commando perk could be useful should probably up uh, up gunslinger as well because I tend to use those pistols a lot all right Let's see what we got here we got no deacon we're on our own that's scary I left some of my mines on them, but I guess those are gone for now. I'm just saving because I'm, I'm fucking terrified. Okay. I don't see anybody. I don't know what happens if somebody does see me. I'll look like... A <laughs> I don't know. I'm still wearing a vault jumpsuit. I'm sure they're going to find that suspicious. Alright, we need to find a terminal. Here we got a computer terminal. View access log. Validation, signal rela- okay, I can't load a holotape. Okay, yeah, I can. Before I do anything else. Choose holotape to load. What? Oh. The one that- oh, Sorry, I don't know why I was confused. I'm not sure which one she gave me. Hopefully it says Desdemona or- Oh boy. Uh, I don't know which- let's- hang on. Encrypted message it's called. Okay. Alright, let me look at that list again. Atomic Command, Augusta- it's not Augusta- it's not Corsair Chip Data. Or is it? Jax, Knight Aslan's Network Scanner. Stockton's hollow tape, it's not that. Okay, atomic command, I guess. No, this is a freaking game. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my goodness. This looks fun. Uh, I don't even what? Wasn't sure how it was supposed to Base. Oh, I see. I have to. God damn it. And I'm out of. Eh. This game is not that fun. Okay, quit. <laughs> Lonnie uses tons of resources and uh, joins with a secret organization in order to infiltrate an even secreter organization and the first thing she does when she gets inside is play a fucking video game on the terminal. <laughs> Holy shit. Okay, I'm gonna try... I don't know if I want to load that. I can't load that. I can't load the ones that aren't... Okay, I can't load the ones that aren't games. 
or incorrect, so that's at least good. Wait. I can't load any of these. R? What the fuck? Okay, hang on a minute. Oh. Apparently I can't load any terminals, or any holotapes now. Emergency relay button? Don't want to push that. Hello. Okay. I wondered if you might make it here. You're quite resourceful. I am known as Father. Shit. The Institute is under my guidance. I think I've done fucked up. I know why you're here. I'd like to discuss things with you face to face. Please, step into the elevator. Okay, either this is like supposed to have happened, or what happened when I loaded the wrong tape, like an idiot, was they noticed that I was here prevented me from loading anything else. Okay, I don't know. I kind of want to reload just to see if I get a different outcome. Let me go ahead and save. And we'll load this. I'm just curious here if this is going to happen every time or if I should have loaded a specific tape. But which tape? I don't know what which the fuck tape it is. I can't keep track of all these hollow tapes. Good lord. Like, can I load this one in? No, I can't load it. Okay. I can't load any of these. Can I load Zeta Invaders? Oh! I'm pressing the <laughs> I'm pressing the fucking wrong button, guys. Guys. I'm losing my mind. Um I'm not sure that's going to do anything. Emma is holiday. That's not that's not it. This is not the right one either. Oh god. <laughs> Could it get any worse? I don't think so. Network scanner? Message from Tom. Okay, this is it. Message from Tom. Big D demanded a tutorial be included, so here it is. Plug this thing into any institute terminal and copy the message. Patri Long version, Patriot's been sending us short coded messages for years using an evil little encryption scheme. It was a bitch and a half to reverse engineer. Patriot's got skill. But I nailed it. Put this holotape on any institute terminal and it'll deliver a gift wrapped message straight to Patriot. Excuse me, you're going into the belly of the beast, friend. Don't trust anything. Okay. So, copy encrypted message. Okay. 
Copy complete. Read urgent reply. What? Oh, that one. Meet at the advanced systems maintenance room. Okay. All right. You know what? Fuck my. What? What is wrong with my brain? Where I was like. Okay. So so that guy knows I'm here anyway. He doesn't give a fuck. Though. I am known as father. The Institute is under my guidance. I know why you're here. I'd like to discuss things with you face to face. Please, step into the elevator. Okay. So... Let me make sure I'm following the right quest still. Underground, undercover. Yeah, that's what I want. Okay. Now who knows? Oh, see, the, the thing is... I don't necessarily know who's who's the bad guy. I guess that's a- oh god. I stepped into it. God damn it. I can only imagine what you've heard. What you think of us. I did not mean to do that. <laughs> I'd Fuck. like to show you that you may have- Sorry for all the reloading. I should probably just stick with my choices. Well, except for fucking up and not knowing what the- How the fuck do I load this tape? I just loaded one. And now I just fucking- Busted. Okay, so I think I have to enter the elevator, actually. How do I- Otherwise proceed? I think I don't. broken. Yeah. He's kind of got me trapped. Okay. Well, fuck it. Get in here and get sucked into the freaking belly. The belly. I can only imagine what you've heard. What you think of us. I'd like to show you that you may have the wrong impression. Welcome to the Institute. Well, you guys sure do have a nice looking, uh... Kinda looks like Citadel. This place, <laughs> these people, the work we do. For over a hundred yeah, it really years, does look like Citadel. Wow. ourselves to humanity's survival. Decades of research, countless experiments and trials, a shared vision of how science can help shape the future. It has never been easy. And our actions are often misinterpreted by those above ground. Someday, perhaps, we can show them what we've accomplished. But for now, we must remain underground. Okay, but y you know they all think you're evil, evil, right? As you've seen, things above are... unstable. Well, yeah, there was a goddamn war. I'd like to talk to you about what we can do for everyone. But that can wait. You are here for a specific, very personal reason. You are here for your son. Where is my son? Uh, is he gonna be... Mm. They've probably done something that... What do these buttons do? Okay, nothing I guess. Well, they probably activate the elevator from- if it's not already there. <laughs> or call the elevator, I mean. Alright. Hey. Is it Sean or a fucking trick? Sean? It's stuck. Uh, what the fuck? This is cruel. He won't even look at me. Sean? Huh? Yes, I'm Sean. He's not gonna remember who I am. I mean, he was a baby, so... Uh... Yeah. Sean? Oh my god. It's really... It's really you. Who are you? 
Uh, I'm your mom. <laughs> it's me. <laughs> this is uh, more I'm awkward mom. than I imagined. Father, what's going on? What's happening? What? Sean, are you okay? You're not hurt, are you? What's going on? Father? Father! Shh. It, it'll be okay, Sean. Mommy's here now. I don't know you. Go away. Father! Father, help me! There's someone here! Help me! Oh, man. Sean, yeah, he doesn't know who the hell we Calm are. Down. I'll get you out of there. Father? Father, help me! She's trying to take me! Father? Father, help me! Ah! Thought. Jesus Christ, buddy. S923, recall code Cirrus. What the fuck did you just do to him? The child's responses were not at all what I anticipated. He's a prototype, you understand. We're only just now beginning to explore the effects of extreme emotional stimuli. Please try and keep an open mind. Did you turn my fucking kid into I a robot? That you are emotional, and that your journey here has been fraught with challenges. Let's start anew. I am father. Welcome to the Institute. I could kill you. Right here. Right. Now. Yes. Yes, you could. And I would be powerless to stop you. Yeah, I am not happy what right answers, now. Asshole. Now. Under the circumstances, I will forgive your vulgarity, but I need you to realize that this situation is far more complicated than you could have imagined. You have traveled very far. And suffered a great deal to find your son. Well, your tenacity and dedication have been rewarded. It's good to finally meet you. After all this time, it's me. I am Sean. I am your son. What? How is the that even that work? possible? I know this is a lot to take in. In the vault. You had no concept of the passage of time. You were released from your pod and went searching for the son you'd lost. But then you learned that your son was no longer an infant, but a ten-year-old boy. You believed that ten years had passed. Is it really so hard to accept that it was not ten, but sixty years? That is the reality, and here I am. Raised by the Institute, and now it's Lita. Well, wait, but, I mean, why? How did... Yeah, why did you end up the leader? But why? Why take a child? Why take you? Ah, now that's the question, isn't it? Why me? At that time, the year 2227, the Institute had made great strides in synth production, but it was never enough. Scientific curiosity and the goal of perfection drove them ever onward. What they wanted was the perfect machine. So they followed the best example thus far. The human being, walking, talking, fully articulate, capable of anything. So they're... Okay, so you're taking people because they needed something to test on? So know. the weird science experiments needed specimens. That's why they took you? In a manner of speaking, yes. The Institute endeavored to create synthetic organics. The most logical starting point, of course, was human DNA. Plenty of that was available, of course. But it had all become corrupted. In this... Wasteland. Radiation affected everyone. Even in their attempts to shield themselves from the world above, members of the Institute had been exposed. Another source was necessary. But then the Institute found me. After discovering records from Vault 111, 
An infant, frozen in time, protected from the radiation-induced mutations that had crept into every other human cell in the Commonwealth. <laughs> I was exactly what they needed. And so it was my DNA that became the basis of the synthetic organics used to create every human-like synth you see today. I am their father. Through science, we are family. The synths, me, and you. Okay. So, uh, I don't know if I believe him or not. It's a crazy-ass story. I guess, I guess he's been here the whole time? And you've... You've been down here the whole time? I have. Yes. I know you must have questions. Please. Anything I can do to help you understand. Um, yeah, what about Kellogg? Why, like... I don't understand why they made it so difficult for me to get here. Kellogg? He worked for you? Kellogg. He was an institute asset long before I arrived here. It wasn't until well, yeah, I became I that director that I learned of all the things he'd done. What kind of man he was. So... But I killed him. What? You knew the man was a psychopath, but you used him anyway? Would you have preferred that I turned him loose on the Commonwealth? At least keeping him on a short leash kept the collateral damage to a minimum. The Institute took advantage of Kellogg's vicious nature. I will freely admit that. Institute technology prolonged his life and his usefulness far beyond any normal human lifespan. He never failed the Institute, but his cruelty became more apparent with every completed objective. I won't lie. It's no coincidence your path crossed his. It seemed a fitting way to allow you, us, to have some amount of revenge. What well, else that's can fucked I up. <laughs> to ease your mind? That is fucking crazy. Although, I mean, I have to say, I've killed a lot of people, so I probably, uh, I don't know, can't really say much. Um, yeah, what about, oh, I guess. Your father. He never got to see you grow up. Yes. What happened to him was... I've gone over the records of the incident, of course. It seems what happened to him was an unfortunate bit of collateral damage. For many years, I never questioned who my parents were. I accepted my situation, and that was that. With old age comes regret, and asking what if more often, but... Hmm. What matters now is that you and I have a chance to begin again. What else can I say to ease your mind? I don't, I like, I'm not, my mind's not going to be at ease. This is a terrible fucked up situation. I don't know why. <laughs> so you're in charge of the Institute? I am the acting director, yes. I spent decades working to reach this point. It's a responsibility I take very seriously. The Institute. It's important. It really is humanity's best hope for the future. No matter what those above ground might think of us. Well... Oh, scared of him. I'm not scared of him. But, yeah, wait. They do need your help above ground, though. I mean, you have a utopia here they need your help sean it's rough up there to say the least oh we've tried that surprised the institute once tried to help create a stabilized commonwealth government it ended in bickering infighting it was a disaster huh no, no i'm not not surprised we look after our own now ultimately the commonwealth has nothing to fear from us Whatever you've seen or heard, I know I can convince you of that. Just give me time. I know there's well, more that, for that, us to that discuss. Well, that can't be right, because what about the synth, but like, taking over the people's is lives? The on the verge of some important breakthroughs. Your presence would be appreciated as we approach them. 
I've been a part of something amazing here. I've helped to build a life for myself and the people of the Institute. And now, after all these years, you have an opportunity to help with that. Doesn't that intrigue you? Isn't that what you want? Not really. I don't... I mean... No, this organization seems way too shady. Like, they're they're replacing people with robots, and why are they trying to make human-like robots anyway? That, that's just crazy. I won't be a part of this. I can't. Why? Because of the reputation of the Institute. The Institute can provide a better life than anything above ground. You've been in the Commonwealth. You've seen what it's like. I assure you that you are better off with us. Well, I don't know about that. I don't know what to do. I realize that. It's why I'm trying to help you. I hope that you can see that rationally. The Institute is the only thing left in the world that is worth being part of. I simply ask that you give the Institute, me, a chance. A chance to show you what I've been telling you. We really do have humanity's best interests at heart. Will you take that chance? I don't, I don't, I don't, I really don't see I'm how sorry. this could be a good thing. I can't do that. I'm sorry to hear that. I had certainly hoped we could work together. But every man must make his own decisions. If you choose to leave, I cannot force you to stay. Understand, though that I cannot allow you to remain within the Institute. You may have safe passage back to the Relay, where you will be sent back to the surface. But from that point, you must be considered hostile. I am sorry. Mm. I must think first of the safety of the Institute. And in the cruel world that has developed, those who are not with us are against us. The Elevator will return you to the Relay. Okay. Use the network scanner hollow tape. All right. Okay. So I guess Yeah, I don't I, like It's all well and good that they have this nice area built and whatever. This is a nice place. But I oh, know the texture on those trees is pretty bad. Um but yeah, the freaky, what, what was with this kid? What the fuck? Like, why, why is this going on? This is very disturbing. I don't, I mean, this is unfortunate, but the Institute's gotta go. Like, there is no good that could come of this. That's heartbreaking, though, that, man, what, why, why it's gotta be like this? I thought I was gonna get my kid and go get out of here, like... Eh, should have known. Would not be that simple. It's never that simple. Alright, so I presume the rest of the game, if you take this path, is taking down the Institute? Maybe with the help of the railroad? Oh boy, it's gonna be fun. Okay. So I'll use this network scanner before I go. I'm gonna just... well... I had a say. okay, so I have some saves from before. Can make a save now. In case I want to go back and play out the other... The other, uh... What's it? Okay, network scanner. Initiate network scan, I guess? Yeah. Okay. And I can't- I'm not able to get into the advanced systems maintenance room, although... Probably if I had- Did I fuck up by not saying I would stick around? I might have. <laughs> I might have been supposed to have eh, played along. You know what? Fuck it. I don't give a fuck. I don't want to stay here. This place fucking freaks me out. <laughs> All 
Robots tend to get more dangerous as to get more damage. When both their arms are disabled, robots will then charge at an opponent while initiating a self-destruct sequence and explode in a final fiery attack. So it's probably better to go right for the heads on those things. Don't let them get all psycho on ya. I hope they're not going to be pissed that I didn't, uh, talk my way into staying there. Okay, where did I... Oh, I'm back here. Okay. Alright. Started. Form ranks. Talk to Preston Garvey about the Institute. Okay. Interesting. Report to Desdemona. Alright, underground undercover failed. Alright, I was supposed to go- yeah. <laughs> Oopsie. Um. Well, you know. Can't be perfect. Okay. Let's go talk to Preston first. I'm actually going to end this episode when we get back to Sanctuary. Just the idea, though, of, like, lying to your son and then betraying him, like, that, oh, I just couldn't. Yeah, I don't think that's something Lonnie would do. Not after all that- oh hey, Deacon's back. What the fuck do you know? How the hell did you find me? Um, I guess the railroad knows, huh? Uh, yeah, just the whole idea of finding out who Sean is, like, trying to- I just- I don't know. I- I- I felt bad about the whole thing. I'm like, you know what? This is, like, the kid- grew up he has no uh, concept of anything else he doesn't understand like from what i've seen the institute I, I i just don't get how it could be a good organization like what good do they do i they're creating synthetic people in this sterile like they're not even trying to rebuild anything they have this sterile like underground like what do you call it? Just like headquarters. It's it's freaky. It's it's just not right. Like the whole thing was unsettling, and it it was like it's like a vault. It's like being in a vault, and you're like you go crazy in there, you know. So yeah, take me. I don't care. I'll be in this dilapidated shanty town, under the open sky. God, I just I'm so. There's. Multiple routes, of course, to finishing any Fallout game, and I think I'm pr pretty happy with the one I've decided to take. I don't care that Sean. Well, I care a little bit that Sean turned out. I was, I was, ex I wasn't expecting anything good. I wasn't expecting a happy reunion there, but it's a little bit too bad that uh, it was exactly that way. But we'll see, we'll see what happens from here. So uh, thanks for watching, and I hope you are enjoying the series. Looks like Deacon's gonna pretend to help out a little bit, hammering this vent for no good reason. Alright, I'll see you guys in the next episode.